He graduated from Archbishop Stepanek uh, High School and went on to attend Manhattan College and graduated with a Bachelor in Chemistry and an MBA from Iona. Jim joined the Navy in 1962 and he served as a lieutenant on the USS Harlan Dixon during the Cuban Missile Crisis. In 1965, Jim was honorably discharged and went on to study computer programming at the Institute in Manhattan. He was instrumental in his career, and he was a big heart, and he had a passion for service. He served as a scoutmaster for the Boy Scout Troop 17. He was a member of the New York National Guard, the White Plains Volunteer Fire Division, Veterans of Foreign Wars. He was also a member of the American Legion Post 135, where he was elected post commander six times after he relinquished the position of commander. He served as the treasurer for many years. Jim's most cherished accomplishments were marrying Janice Meeker, his devoted wife of 50 years, and the proud father of three children, Caitlin, James, and Edward. Additionally, we honor today um, it is the 100th anniversary of the beginning of the World War I. There were 34 men who resided in the city of White Plains who died whilst in military service during World War I. So today's ceremony is in honor of Jim Dwyer and the men who served during World War I who were residents of the city of White Plains. I'll ask uh, our young Marines to raise the colors. I'll ask all of you to rise. For the raising of the colors, the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spare 